Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wrong to Strong Chicago. My name is Omar Calvillo and tonight we're going to do something different, something special. What we're going to do tonight is going to be called a tribute to our mothers. Uh, so basically I, I, I was at work this morning, you know, I'm just, you know, do, doing what I do at work and it just came to me like, uh, wouldn't be like a good idea to, to get a bunch of men and have them record a little just like a, a few words about their mom, about their wives, anything that they want to share, maybe something that they learned or appreciated about their mother, uh, something about their wives that they appreciate. And just basically, to put it simply, just to show some love to to the women in our lives. So on this uh, Mother's Day, this is the episode that, that we're going to release. So what you're going to hear on here uh, uh, today, it's got a, a different men, some from Chicago, some thro- from throughout the country, some of these men are men that I that I've uh, interviewed on the podcast, so some of them uh, have been on here uh, on the podcast before, and some are going to be on the on the podcast to come. So, what I want to share is um, just a, a happy Mother's Day to my mother, Aurora Calvillo. I just uh, appreciate her. I just love her so much. Like when I think about her, I was thinking about this earlier. Like, what, what am I going to share about my mom? And the first thought that came to me is just a servant. Uh, just a servant's heart, um, always willing to make sure everybody around her is well taken care of. And it could be it's some simply like just like like cooking and just feeding, make sure everybody's eating well. And she'll she'll like put herself last, like uh, she'll she'll get the, the plate last. And even after she's done uh, cooking and serving, making sure everybody's have a good time. There she is, like cleaning up, making sure her kitchen's straight. So from my mom. I just learned, I, I seen that servant's, servant's heart, a nurturer, just a c- compassionate. And uh, uh, I know, like, like looking back, I know I put my, my mom through a lot of, like, sleepless nights. And uh, she was always there, always just caring. I know she was praying along with my father, you know, praying, praying for us. Uh, so on this Mother's Day, I want to just say, I love you, mom. Te, te quiero mucho, te, te aprecio, y te, le doy gracias a Dios por todo lo que... Lo que has hecho en mi vida por, tu, por todos tus hijos, tu hija, tus nietos, y te queremos y apreciamos mucho. So we love you, appreciate you. We're just grateful and thankful for everything you've done. So m- my mom, she's just like, there's so much I can say about her, uh, but that's just like the, the one of the main things that came to my mind. And I, and I believe that's uh, where I get like the, the, the servant. Like I love to serve. I love to serve others. Hospitality, that's another thing I got from my family, from my mom. Or they always had open doors. Uh, for family members were able to just come in and just, you know, put it this way. Like, if you came around our house, came around my mom, you you left blessed. You know, she was always quick. Even if she didn't have no, no food ready, she was, man, she'll start cooking something up in the kitchen and, and make sure you were eating good and just, you know, having a good a family, a, a wholesome time, you know. So I'm, I'm thankful for my mom. And I'm thankful for my wife, Anne. We've been together uh, I met her June 1st, 2000, got married uh, February 19, 2005. And uh, honestly, I've, I've shared it before that she's the biggest blessing in my life other than my salvation, other than, than coming uh, to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I would say my wife. Um, I'm blessed because of her. Um, and I truly mean that. A lot of the blessings that I have in my life today are because of her. Uh, she's my uh, best friend, my my helpmate. Uh, man, I remember s- simple stuff that she, like, I guess, um, practical things. She's the one that when I first met her back in 2000, she told me about getting a credit card. That, that, might, that might seem insignificant to some people, but that credit uh, led me to later on get a car and now years later get a house. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be a homeowner today. She's the one that believed before even I believed. She's the one that pushed me, that encouraged me to, hey, you know, like we got to trust God that he's going to be able to provide for us to have a home. And I could honestly say that I'm a homeowner thanks to God and thanks to my wife. Uh, she's a, a prayer warrior. She's a woman of faith. She's a woman that, that man, she believes, like put it this way, she, through through seasons of my walk and, and seeking God, there, there's been seasons where my faith wasn't there or wasn't as strong. And man, she just believed God for, for the impossible. And she like almost like transferred that faith onto me and encouraged me and pushed me to believe. I thank her for always praying for me. 
Uh, I know she's a prayer warrior. She prays for me. Uh, she prays for our, our children. I just I love her. She's a blessing to my kids. Just a very loving, nurturing uh, woman. Prays for them, encourages them, uh, smothers them. You know, she's just, uh, I just want to tell my wife, I love you. I appreciate you. And I, I know I wouldn't be the man uh, that I am if it wasn't, if it wasn't for God placing you by my side. And I'm just, I look forward to God willing many years by your side married and just not, not more not just married but as a as a marriage couple a ministry couple that's what i want to say ministry doing ministry together uh serving the lord together and serving god's people together so i love you um and i just pray that i'm able to demonstrate that in uh action and not just in words and uh have a happy mother's day to my mother have a happy Mother's Day to my wife and to all the mothers out there. You know, uh, we're, we're, we're as men. We just wanted to, uh, you know, set this time apart on, on this podcast uh, today to just be grateful and thankful for the, for the women that God has blessed us with, uh, grandmothers, aunts, even just those women that, that God uh, placed in, in our lives um, on purpose and for a purpose. We thank God for you. You're appreciated. And uh, we're just grateful and thankful for you all. Hey, this is JC with Born and Strong. Happy Mother's Day to all the tough, gangster, hardworking, patient, loving mothers out there. Have an amazing day. I know that motherhood is a tough job. It's a choice every day to put someone else's happiness and well-being ahead of your own. To teach those hard lessons to do what's right, even when you're not sure what is the right thing to do. And, forget, and to forgive yourself over all the things that you had to do over and over again to get it right. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a blessed day. Jesus loves you. Hey, uh, just wanted to join in and give my little, my little, my thankfulness for my mother is, uh, man, being a fighter, bro. You know what I mean? Like, she just sees, I see my mother go through, go through a lot, man, with my dad. They're physically abused and, Mentally, all of us were mentally and physically abused as, as, as youngsters, and but she held on. She stood strong, and, and she overcame all of that, and, and you know, took care of the four of us. I, I got three brothers, and um, she survived all of that to to give us a better life. Man, a hardworking lady, sole provider basically. At sometimes until we got until she got remarried. But, yeah, the things that I remember of my mother is that, man, just being, you know, no matter what, no matter what the circumstances were, she always made sure that we had what we needed and that we would never go without, you know what I mean? All the way up until, all the way up until right now, still, she still does things for us that, you know, they, she doesn't even have to and she'll find a way where there's a will, there's a way she does it. Um, For my wife, I, uh, man, you know, she's like my... I call her now. I, I, I've, I've been around a lot of, now that I'm in my walk. I've, uh, she's definitely my earthly, I call her my earthly Holy Spirit because she's always, she's, she's the one, she's that voice, man, that she just helps me and makes me understand things a lot better and opens my eyes to things that, I'm, that I don't see, man. She lets, she, she lets me hear the things that I don't hear. She helps me to physically understand and to uh, to get it, man. To understand what's going on and what you know, what God is calling us to do. And um, she's, they're deeply rooted into it. You know, they're practicing. They do Bible studies. They heard her mom, and they do it all, man. And then, and I thank God for them both, man, because they're, they're strong women, strong. Their faith is strong, and um, honestly, man, if it wasn't for my wife, I, I don't know where I would be. You know what I mean? Right now, after you know, since 2011, I met her came home from, from being incarcerated for four and a half years and got together with her a week after being released. And just, man, 11 years later, we still been, we're still going strong. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man, she's, she's helped me through and, and helped me through my, all my ups and downs since then. And, and my spiritual walk has been a definite from 2011 to up to today. It's just been a, a, a one roller coaster ride, one heck of a roller coaster ride, man. And um, 
like I said, man, I thank God for, for, for her, my mother. Happy Mother's Day to you both and all you beautiful women out there that are hearing this podcast. Um, that we could we would not be the man that we would. If any man says that he could do it on his own, he's a lie. Because no man could be no man could be born from himself. He, we need you, women. These women are the backbones of a lot of us men. And um, thank thank you for all of you, women. Thank you. How you doing, everybody? I'm Margarito Bruno. I want to give uh, this tribute to my mom and to my wife. What comes to mind with my mom first, I want to say I'm so thankful to Father God that I, that, that I have both my parents and that I can still call my mom in the morning. Uh, I remember waking up uh, when I was little and mom was always there and, you know, wake, uh, being able to watch cartoons on the, uh, you know, and it was early, so, you know, 7 a.m. before mom was going to work. She'd make sure I was, got to watch cartoons, Woody Woodpecker and stuff, and I had my bowl of cereal, you know, and like my mom says, que bonitos tiempos. Uh, my mom has always been that one person that was always having my back. She was always there for me, you know. Sometimes it was, you know, good. Sometimes it was bad, right? Because her, her, her son couldn't do anything wrong. He was always never in the wrong. I had that kind of mom, but, but my mom is, is somebody who I, I adore and I love. And she's a strong woman. You know, she came to this country and she learned, learned English, got her, you know, like they say, her papeles, right? <laughs> but she did it all. She took the test. She did everything. And, and I'm proud of her for doing that, you know. Um, I just, I just want her to be around forever. You know, I get, I get a little, a little choked up because one of the things I think of is, is that I'm so lucky to still have my parents. Uh, my mom did everything she could for me. Right, every time I, 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 the new, new shoes came out, the new Jordans came out, uh, I had them. You know, so my mom spoiled me. So on this Mother's Day, I just want to tell my mom. You know, I love her. I love her with all my heart. And thank you for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for going through what you did when I was in the military and I was overseas at war. I know you suffered, but God brought me back and we're still together. And every thing that you do for us does not go unnoticed, Mom. Thank you. And I love you. My wife, Janie. Well, you know, well, that's uh, my, my daughter, Bella's mom. And, and you know, she's, she's my rock here at home. You know, she's lets me know what I'm, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. Uh, she keeps me in line, you know, and I, and I love her for that. You know, we've both become gotten closer to, uh, Christ and, and, and doing stuff at new and a part of the community and so proud of her. I'm proud of her. Uh, she's working and going to school now and, and, and she's, working on her, her career to be a nurse, you know, not just a CNA, a nurse. And I, I'm so proud. She's such a strong woman. She keeps our family together. You know, we're a blended family, but uh, God blesses us all in different ways, you know, and she's what keeps everybody together. And she keeps everybody wanting to improve themselves. And I, and I love that about her, but basically mainly with me, she has, with, hurts and hangups and habits that I, that will family, she stuck through me and she's still here with me. And with that, I want to say thank you. And I love you, honey and happy mother's day. And I'm proud of you. And I love you forever. My name is Victor Perez. I'm calling from Baytown, Texas. And I just want to give a special shout out to my mom on mother's day. I hope she has a great day and a wonderful day. I would like to share a few things that when I think of Mother's Day, what it means to me, because I wasn't raised with my mother, but these last three years and plus some, she's just, our bond has really just grown so much. I wasn't raised by her, but now you couldn't even tell. I mean, my mom, she's a rock. She supports me in any way I could ever ask her to. She's been there for me night and day open her roof to me whenever I needed it. And I just want to say, Mom, I love you. I'm thankful for everything you've done. You know everything that we've been through. And I just say, I love you. Like, none of that ever happened before. I hope you have a great day. Love you, Mom. 
Okay, well, thank you, Omar. Uh, I just want to share a little bit. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, uh, especially to my mom, who's been so uh, just incredible to me over the years, so faithful and, and loyal uh, in the midst of hardship. Thank you, Mom, just for always being there for me, uh, for sick and for sin and all the struggles we've been through, uh, even through almost 10 years of incarceration. I knew you were always, you and you and Dad were always there in my corner, um, even when I didn't deserve you, just like Jesus was too. So I thank you. I just, I thank the Lord for you. I know that I believe I'm alive today uh, because of your prayers, uh, even when I was a mess and in the midst of darkness, when I was in the pit, in that pit, in that horrible pit, in the miry clay. That's where I found Christ. And so I thank you guys for always being there for me. Uh, Mom, you've just been uh, just, just such a blessing. I know the Lord has put you in my life. Without you, I, I don't know where I would be today. But without you, without Christ, um, that you've just been such an amazing blessing to not only to me, but to our whole family. You know, you, you constantly, you've loved us, uh, regardless of our actions, regardless of, you know, the shame that we brought upon you, especially me when I, you know, turned into the black sheep of the family, but you still didn't turn your back on me. You loved me through thick and thin. And I just thank you, mom. I love you. And, and I just, uh, want to give a shout out to you and, and uh, just thank you for everything that you've done. Um, yeah, I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, be where I'm at today without you, without dad, without Christ. So I just, uh, I, mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day to you and to all the mothers out there listening. Uh, don't forget about your kids. You know, no matter what, cover them with prayer because you never know, you know, what the Lord can do in their lives. So thank you. Thank you. Yo, what's up? This is Julio Mercado from Chicago, Illinois. I just want to give a shout out to my mother. They're always being there for me, for putting up with me, for all the sleepless nights that I put her through, all the stress and aggravation, and still she was always there for me. She always loved me unconditionally, always had my back no matter what. And I just want to give a shout out to her and let her know I love you. It wasn't all for nothing. I uh, hope to one day make you proud that you can look at me and say, that's my son with a big smile. I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I also would like to give a shout out to my wife for putting up with me for the last 10 years with all my ups and my downs, all the trouble, all the stress. I just want to say thank you. I love you. I would could never get it without you. I'm glad that we're here together today making this walk to Christ together. I'm glad to share this experience with you, to watch you study and grow as a Christian woman. And just wanted to let you know that you help me to become a better man. You help me to be a better father, a better husband, and even a better son. It's my mother, it's my wife. I tell you both, thank you. I love you both. Have a happy Mother's Day. Because nobody deserves it more than you. I love you, Mom. I love you, wifey. All right, this is Minor Vasquez from Phoenix, Arizona, and I just want to say thank you to uh, three different women that have just been there for different seasons of my life. Number one, my grandma, you know, from little, she always uh, took care of me. I got, she, she was probably the biggest hustler I knew. <laughs> and I, I just learned, I learned that from her, just, you know, getting, you know, doing what it was necessary to uh, keep things going. Second one is, um, the most important one to me is my mom. Uh, she she has worked hard her entire life, and um, and always always was always teaching the trades of, of of whatever she was doing. And and one of the things that I I'll never forget is my mom taking me to um, to her job and just seeing how she worked. Actually, I ended up getting um, you know just the the, the ability to uh, fix clothes. Uh, so I fixed some of my clothes, my own, but, um, because she taught me how to use those, those tools, you know, sewing machine and all that stuff. And, um, and now the most important one to me now is, uh, my wife, my wife, Hael Vasquez. And, um, man, she is by far, uh, the most faithful woman I've ever met to God first and to love and serve people. Uh, she just, she's just such an amazing woman. Works hard, takes care of me, takes care of 
uh, everything that comes her way, that whatever God puts in her path. And I think the most important thing about her is the fact that she has uh, God's grace and love uh, uh, in her heart. That's the, those are the three women that I want to that I want to uh, congratulate today and just remember. Um, so thank you. This is Moses Cavio. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. I'd like to shout out my mom specifically. Uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you for always being there for me and believing in me. I'm just grateful for you just taking these steps with me as I become a young man. I'm just glad that you've taught me everything and, you know, just always praying for me. I know you look out for me, and I hope that one day I make you proud. Uh, I'm thankful for everything you do. I'm thankful for all the times we've talked together. Uh, I'm grateful for the food you make. It's very good. Um, I'm just I'm just so grateful to have a mother like you, and I hope you enjoy your Mother's Day. This is Peter Morales. I just want to say happy Mother's Day to my mother, Patricia. Uh, one of the things that I really learned from my mom, and I kind of still to this day use, is her resiliency that she taught me over the years. Um, not really with words, but with her actions, her actions of, you know, things in life may not go your way. You might not have the fanciest car, or the, the biggest or best house, but you make the best of it with what you can. And, you know, you raise your loved ones with, with unconditional love and respect and understanding and always be there for them however you can. I also want to say happy Mother's Day to my wife, Sophia. Through her, what she taught me was, you know, the way back to the Lord. Um, I actually was baptized. When we first got married together in Hawaii, I see like her incredible movement through the, through the, through God and you know raising our children to be uh, more like Him, uh, passing the word down, and just her ultimate like toughness she has in life. And I just want to say you know Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and uh, without you there'd be no us. Amen. My name is Alex Ramos. Well, first of all, I want to say thanks to all the moms, but I'll try. Most of us wouldn't be here. Be blessed for sure. One thing I can always say about my mom is that my mom is home. No matter where I am, close by or far away, where my mom is, is home. A feeling of safety and love. One thing I can always remember uh, about my mom is she always said, Dios aprieta, pero no orca, meaning God will choke you or he won't kill you. It's, it's something she always said and always stuck with me and always will. I hope one day I can teach my kids what she taught me. And I know life wasn't perfect, man, but you gave me everything, and it was more than enough, man. Thanks, Mom, and I love you. And hey, hello, this is Javier Garcia from Chicago. I just want to say, you know, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, the ones that are with us, the ones that are not, the ones that are in heaven with, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I just want to, you know, God had placed this verse in my heart when I was in prison, how I didn't honor my parents. And there's a curse behind not honoring your parents. And there's a promise behind honoring your parents. So I just want to share this verse. It says, and this is in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Uh, it says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. And what's the promise? Here it is. That it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. I, I mean, I, when I learned this, it really blew me away. So I just want to say happy Mother's Day to not only my mom, to all the moms out there, uh, I want to say, you know what, uh, our, your sons, your daughters might not, might not have been, you know, what, what you thought of when they were growing up. But as we learn, as we grow up, as we get older, and we start seeing and putting the principles of God in our life, we start seeing that the way we did things was maybe not right, you know, and especially not right in the eyes of God. But I just want to say, you know, man, mom, I love you. Uh, moms, the ones that, are, that even raised their children up as a single mothers, man, I give you much love and respect because it, if it was hard enough raising them with a, a husband or a man on your side, it was double as hard raising them by yourself. So I just want to say, you know, you, man, God bless you. God keep you. Uh, and and uh, for anybody hearing this, let us always honor our mother and our fathers. Thank you very much. God bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This is Angel Jimenez. And I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I just want to shout out to my mom, Anne Calvillo, for, and I'm just thankful for everything that she has done for me 
since I was young, and I just, she means a lot to me, and I'm just thankful, like, for all the times that I've spent with her, all the conversations and the talks that I've had with her, all the advice that she has given me over time. She's even helped me through tough times when I was at my lowest, and I'm just thankful for the food that she cooks for dinner, and I just, I'm thankful, I'm blessed to have my my mom and just that she's helped me through this time of life, uh, and I just, I'm thankful for her. Uh, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to our mothers. Um, I appreciate everything my mom has done for me since I can remember being a little kid. My mom has always, you know, worried about me. She's always been there for me. Uh, my mom did her best. You know, she's always been there for, you know, she was the type of mother that, you know, she, she had to do it on her own, you know. And I remember um, when I was, when I was, uh, when I was in Mexico, I asked my mom for money one time, and she told me that she knew the money she was sending me, I was using to get high. But she said at the same time, just the thought of seeing, just the thought of thinking that I was in the streets hungry was killing her. So she told me, you know, that she's sending me money, but at the same time, you know, it kills her to know that she's helping me kill myself. And that was one of the best lessons I, ever, I could ever learn, you know, that even as a parent, you know, like, they never stopped being, my mom has never stopped being a parent to me. And, you know, she's always been there for me, you know. Hello, this is Francisco Terrazas from Chicago. Just wanted to kind of give a, a quick description of what my wife, or at least the women that mean a lot to me, right? And I can definitely say that would be my my wife and, and my mother. You know, I had to sit down and really think about this and put some thought into this because both of these women really do mean a lot to me. But I, I want to start first with my wife, Cecilia. As men, we tend to think of heroes like cartoons you watch growing up, like in my case, Marvel Comics, X-Men, Spider-Man, you know, Iron Man and so on, right? Or even real people like a father or someone who is or was a father figure to you. But in this day of age, for me and where I am today in life, a hero is much more than what I thought in my young days. A hero is someone who God placed you in front of another person's path that has helped you grow immensely when you couldn't do it alone. That person to me is my wife, Cecilia. I've known her for a little over 23 years now, and I can say that we've been through a lot. And now I've been married to her for 13 years, and we've been through so many happy moments and hurdles. But since I know we had to cut this short, I just want to mainly focus on these past recent five years to give you a little quick description of who she is. You know, Cecilia has shown me a lot in these past recent five years of of even more of herself, of what she's capable of. And let me start by saying she is such a strong and godly woman, no doubt. That's just something I need to say up front. She started her adventure for her master's degree in late 2017. And let me tell you, school wasn't the only thing she had to handle throughout the time. She was thrown with so many curveballs throughout these years that it took a toll on so many levels, from losing a father figure, dealing with the pandemic, children being hospitalized, you know, and, and I mean, the list goes on. I saw this woman fight through her battles mentally and physically, day in, day out. And so many aren't aware of how much it takes to be in school full time while being a mother, a wife, working her current field job, being a friend, a daughter, etc. I mean, I can't even put it into words, but it drains you in so many ways. I saw it in her and I felt so hopeless because I knew there wasn't a whole lot I can do physically to help lighten her load. Nonetheless, she did not quit. She had a fire in her that kept burning every day and night that she knew had to be accomplished, regardless of what the obstacles, uh, regardless of what obstacles got in her way. Through God's grace, she has accomplished this chapter in her life because she's actually walking across stage today, May 13, 2023, to get her master's degree. This woman is short of being a hero, to be honest, because I see her much more than that. What she doesn't know is that throughout this whole process, she too has helped me to grow to be a person I am today. And I am blessed to have seen this process that she went through because I'll never forget it. Not only is Cecilia a hero to me, but I am so blessed to also have her as, as a wife and a mother to my children. And now my mother, Marcella Terrazas. This is another special woman in my life. I can admit that I am a mama's boy 
always have been. My mother has a big heart and she's been there for, for me even when I didn't deserve it. I put that woman through a lot and I see that she still loves me to this day. My mother and I have been through so much these past couple of years. Many things have changed, but my love for her, no matter what, will never change. God mentioned in the Bible, Matthew nineteen nineteen, to honor your mother and father. And I can say that I have fallen short of this one many times. I can say that growing up with my mother when I was young in comparison to me going through my adulthood, adulthood with her is totally different. When we're young, we don't think much about the struggles our parents go through and all the mental breakdowns they may have from time to time. I say that now because I'm a parent myself. My mom is the kind of person that doesn't say much about certain things as it goes for the rest of my media family. But the only way I know her is that she never stops offering help. That's her form of expression. Many people don't understand it, but I do now. I've learned so many valuable lessons from her, and those are the things I can share with my children and everyone else I care for. There may be times where we might not understand certain situations in life, but what I've learned with my mother is that she never gave up on me. All I want to do now is honor her and my father to the best to my ability with the help of God, because I don't want to live with any regrets. She means the world to me, even though I may not express it all the time, but I know that it, that is something I should share with her often and stop being such a stubborn son. A knucklehead is what, what I will say. Hey, hello there, John. My name is Roger Cadet. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. So I just call and just, first of all, to send regards and the honor to my mother, Helen Cadena was a soldier for Christ. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't know the faith of Jesus Christ. It was her believing in me, man. It was a strong belief. Even to the point when I was locked up in, a, in the penitentiary, she used to come every 10 days to, to visit me. And she was a strong woman of faith. She used to just be on her knees praying for me. And, and she just, even when she used to come, come to visit me, she just had that firm belief that she was on a, rock foundation that I can change, you know, so she's with the Lord right now, but I just want to give her, you know, just the honor and the glory for what she'd done in my life, but of course it was Jesus Christ working in her to build up my faith, that's number one. Number two is my beautiful wife, Reina Cadena. I just want to thank her for her first uh, pretty much putting up with me when I was somebody I shouldn't even have been put up with, but she did in the beginning days. And one of the things that I loved about her was just um, her cooking and not just only her cooking, just her being a mother, you know, she always um, had that strength. She always was independent that she didn't need a man. But then again, it was one of those things that being yoked together with her, it made us stronger as a couple. But her strength as a mother, the love that she has for her children, is just like something I never saw before other than my mom. You know, I mean, she's one of the women that when the children always want something, and now they're big, they go to mom. And they say, well, you, you have a father. Ask your father. I was always the one that disciplined more tough love. You know, man up. She was a nurturer, but I praise God. I thank God for her, for who she is and what she's doing and the love that my children have for her. So pretty much that's it. I want to honor my, my mother, Helen Cadena, and just, just wish my wife a happy Mother's Day and much blessings, and I love you dearly. Thank you so much. Bye. Once again, thank you for joining us on the Wrong to Strong Chicago podcast. Matthew 4.16 reads, The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. My name is Omar Calvillo. I am Wrong to Strong. <laughs>